Hey, yo, I got to help my moms. I can't go to that school. I got to help Jukebox. I got to help New York. I got to help 50 Cent. Bro, I, I don't know why, but the freaking Kanan character gave me Spencer vibes from All American. Cause you know how he be, he be like, yo, I gotta help my moms, I gotta help Coop, I gotta help Dylan, I gotta help everybody. Yo man, what is up? It is your boy, DJ Fepi 100. It is currently one o'clock in the morning, bro, but I don't care, bro, because you know, I stay up late, bro, that's how we do it, bro. I got on my freaking Dusty Blockbuster t-shirt on because I'm in my house, and yeah, I just be watching stuff. But yo man, we about to get into this freaking Raising Canaan, bro. Raising Canaan. All right, I'm about to make this freaking recap, review, or whatever, very short. It's going to be five minutes, bro. I'm going to try to make this five minutes tops, because I ain't got time to be doing a whole long review. First of all, I just want to say, I've been waiting on Raising Canaan for a year and a couple months, bro. So now that it's finally here, bro, it's a, it's a humbling experience, because I've been waiting on this for the longest, bro. So many things could have happened in that lifespan, bro. Like, anything could have happened to me. But I'm blessed enough to still be here to watch Raising Canaan. So, you know, you got to give thanks to God, bro. Give thanks to the up above, man. You got to get God in your life, bro. But anyway, man, Raising Canaan, man. That episode, bro. Okay, first of all, you guys have to understand. This is a season one. Season one. Raising Canaan is a new show. It's season one, episode one, bro. So, of course... Some things are going to be a little slow, all right? The episode is still dope, but, like, a lot of it was, like, an introduction of all the characters. 50 Cent had to let you know who's who and stuff like that, bro. So, a lot of the episode was an introduction, all right? Like, the first half. But then the second half, bro, that stuff was crazy, bro. We're going to get into that, bro. So, basically, bro, this shows about the character Kanan from the original Power, bro. 50 Cent played Kanan, bro. He did a great job playing Kanan. But Raising Kanan is about the character when he's 15 years old, all right? And it takes place in 1991, bro. That's what I love, bro. I love the 90s, bro. In the beginning, the episode starts off with, like, a seven-year-old Kanan, bro. And, you know, he's getting bullied for lunch money and stuff. But, you know, his mom saw him crying. He was like, she was like, yo, you know, you can't be doing that, yo. You got to defend yourself. And, yeah, and the mom, bro, the mom, she's a powerful force, bro. Hey, you get that? I said power, powerful force. Yeah, she a powerful force, bro. Yeah, man, like, she really, she really is a, she really is a boss. Like, she's a boss, yo. I'm not trying to compare no one, but, like, bro, she give me more of those boss vibes. More than, like, freaking Monet. Like, I don't know, Monet is goofy sometimes, bro. Freaking, um, Raquel, that's her name. She's more boss. Like, you, you get kind of intimidated. It's like, she's like one of those girls where it's like, when she step in the room, like, you be like, oh, shoot. That's a boss right there. You get those vibes from her. And the, the actor, bro, she does a great job, bro. But yeah, bro. The episode starts off with a young Kanan, bro. He gets bullied. But his mom teaches him, like, yo, you got to defend yourself. Like, yo, if they're stronger than you, then, bro, you got to pick up a weapon. You got to pick up an object. Defend yourself at all costs. And that's what Kanan does, bro. And then the episode fast forwards to Kanan as a 15-year-old, played by the legend, Makai Curtis. Let's talk about this man's transition. The man literally went from Disney, from Disney to stars, all right? That's a dope transition. He's a legend off of that by itself, all right? So, yeah, so basically Kanan, bro, he's smart and stuff, you know? It's like he gets accepted. Well, he doesn't get accepted, but he gets a chance to freaking, um do a test to go into this um more fancy school or whatever all right now kane is not really feeling it bro it's like he one of those kids where it's like yo like i'm so smart but you know i'm about to waste all my potential to be a gangster like that is so stupid sometimes but bro this is a tv show so i'm glad you made that decision i want to see that gangster stuff but yeah bro he's like yo you know i don't want to go to that school but you know it's like his mom is saying, yo, you got to take that test. You know, you want to you wanna be somebody. But Kane is not really feeling it. And, bro, let, let's talk about the characters real quick, bro. Kane and friends, bro. He got a friend called Famous, bro. He a Puerto Rican dude, bro. He cool, bro. He dope. Like, bro, he's just a dope character, bro. And then we got Jukebox, bro. 
that's Kanan's um cousin, bro. She real dope, bro. I like it, bro. I like her vibes, bro. You know. And then we also get introduced to Kanan's family. To Marvin, that's Kanan's uncle. I think he's the oldest. Rock Quell, that's his mother. That's Kanan's mother. And um and Lulu, yeah, Lulu. Kevin from Snowfall plays Lulu. He's the youngest. So yeah, so basically, you know, Kanan's in school, bro. He's a, he's at regular school, bro. And um and yeah, bro, he going through regular high school stuff. He talking to his crush and stuff like that. I've been through those predicaments, bro. You know me, bro. I've been through those predicaments where it's like, yo, the girl start talking to you and you be like, oh shoot, I don't know what's happening. Oh man, you look too good. You smell too good. You throw me off. Yeah, I, I know, bro. I miss high school, bro, a little bit. I miss stuff like that. Just little stuff like looking at your crush and stuff. I miss stuff like that, you know. But yeah, bro. You know, Kanan got a crush on this girl, bro. We don't really get too much of her. But yeah, bro, it just establishes that Kanan got a crush on on this girl, bro. And yeah, but the girl's with this dude named Buck Plenty. All right, Buck Plenty, bro. He's um a drug dealer. He's a kid though. But um he works for this dude named named Unique, played by Joey Bad. But Unique is like the biggest drug dealer. Like there's two drug dealers. It's Raquel, Kanan's mother, and then there's Unique. Unique's like the bigger drug dealer. He has more power. Like, Raquel, like, she got power, but she's, she's more small time, all right? Yeah, like, Unique got more power, bro. But, yeah, bro, Buck 20, bro, that's um Kanan's crush's boyfriend, and Buck 20's a drug dealer and stuff, bro. So, basically, um like, days before, bro, Raquel and um Unique, they had a conversation about whose corner's whose corner. They be like, yo, you get this corner, you get that corner, all right? Now, that's what happened, bro, all right? But one day, Kanan's at the arcade, bro, and he sees that Buck 20 is on his mom's corner. But Kanan doesn't know that that's not his mom's corner no more. They already negotiated that that's freaking Unique's corner. So Kanan sees Buck 20 on his mom's corner. But that's what he's thinking. And Kanan, bro, he, he pulls out the burner. I think that's what all the street people call it. They call it the burner. The burner. They yeah, call it the burner. So yeah, he pulls out the burner. And he's like, yo. And then when he pulls out the burner, bro, Buck 20 starts running. I thought Buck 20 was going to pull up a fight, bro. I thought he was going to be like, hey, yo, nah, man. You ain't, I ain't scared of you. But no, Buck 20 was running. He was like, oh, so I'm running, I'm running, I'm running and stuff. But no, Kanan, bro, he shot at him, bro. He killed him. That's grimy. That's so violent. I can't grow up in the hood, bro. Like, I can't do that. Like, I'm so glad I grew up in a nice household. I can't grow up in the hood, bro. Like, nah, I can't do all that. But, bro, it's like he started running and then freaking Kanan just shot him. And Kanan and this other dude, his name is called D-Wiz. That's a funny nickname. But, yeah, bro, they just start busting at him. Pow, 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 pow. And, you know, they kill him, bro. And I did not know that Kanan was going to get his first body that quickly, bro. I thought that happened a little bit too fast. Like, I thought that character, Buck 20, I thought he was going to be, like, the antagonist for, like, for like a couple episodes, bro. And then like on the eighth and ninth episode, Kanan actually kills him. But no, Kanan kills him the first episode, bro. Kanan is a grimy mother effort, bro. Like, bro, you just, you really killing the dude because you're on your mom's corner? Like, I can understand the dude, like, had a fight. I can understand, like, the dude was like, yo, like, what, like, like, but the dude wasn't even about all that. He, he saw Kanan with the gun and he started running. But if he didn't start running, then it's like, okay, I can understand you got to do what you got to do. But no, bro, Kanan just killed him, bro. I'm like, damn, bro, you grimy, bro. But that's the 90s, bro. That's the 90s for you, all right? The 90s got good music. But, like, the freaking streets, bro, they were no joke at all. And when he kills Buck 20, he starts, like, a whole war, bro, between, um... It's like they're basically out for Kanan's head now. Like, later scenes, bro, they freaking sue that Kanan, bro. Like, damn, bro, I can't believe they did that to him. But yeah, bro, this is a quick recap, bro. I Like I said, I'm not getting into everything. I'm only getting into the small key points I saw. Oh, yeah, I want to go back to Jukebox, too. So yeah, Jukebox is a lesbian, bro. But you already know that from the first power, bro. So yeah, she talking to this white girl and stuff, bro. And you know, like, you know, that they talking, they doing what they doing. And yeah, bro, I like Jukebox, bro. Jukebox is dope, bro. Like, she, she, she always stuck out to me, even the original power, bro. But yeah, bro. But that was a dope episode, bro. Like, I can't wait for second episode. Second episode, I'ma really dive into everything. But this was just like a quick recap, bro. You know, it was just a quick recap. So yeah, man. 
Tell me what you guys thought about the episode, bro. Those were the things that stuck out to me, bro. Oh, yeah, and one last thing. The ending of the episode, bro. The ending, bro. Um, Kane his mom showed Kanan how to, um, like... He, he, she was just showing him how to really suit people. And, yeah, bro, like, that was just, like, a, one of those moments. But, yeah, bro, it was a good episode, bro. A good first episode of the first season. All right? I can't wait for the other episodes, bro. It's about to be crazy. And, yeah, bro. So, you know, like, share, subscribe, comment, and, yeah, I'm out. Like, share, subscribe. Okay.